equation is a little bit more tricky to understand. Okay, now I'll try to try to explain this with an example. Okay, so once again, it takes two propositions P, Q. Uh, they could be false, 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 true, true, false, true, true, and P implies Q. P implies Q as a proposition that has a truth value. Okay, is dependent on the value of the left operand and also the, the value of the right operand. Actually, the left operand we call the premise. So the premise implies the right operand we call a conclusion. Okay, so the premise implies a conclusion. Okay, so this is like an argument here. Okay, and the rule, if I know the rule, is that an implication is only ever false when the premise is true and the conclusion is false. Okay, so the only time it's ever false, I'll just fill it in and then we'll try to ration, rationalize what's going on. Okay, so the only time it's ever false is when the premise is true, that's here, and the conclusion is false. So the only time it's false is here, everywhere else it's true. And let's give an example. Okay. Now obviously, I'm a little bit of a football uh, fan. Let's say if United, that's Man United, yeah. If United win, then I'll buy you a pint. I buy you a pint. I buy you a pint. And obviously, I'm Irish as well. Okay. But now, the key thing here about this type of statement, this is an implication. Okay, or it's a statement that has has different constructs. It has two propositions that are connected together through this if and the then. Okay, what's between the if and the then is known as the premise. Okay, so this is my premise. Okay, and what's after the then is known as my conclusion to the argument. Okay, so it's the conclusion. And let's just use this as an example. Okay, so United win, Man United win. That's either true or false. I buy you a point. That's either true or false. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. So let's take the easy one here. True, true. Okay. So let's look at the proposition United win. That's true. Let's assume it to be true. And let's say I buy you a point. That's true. Okay. And what I'm saying here is this: is that if United do win, in other words, if United win is true. And then I buy you a pint, or then I buy you a pint is true. So United have won. I did buy you a pint. Well, then I haven't told you any lies, so the output must be true. Okay. Let's look at the other scenario, the other easy one. True, false. So United do win. I don't buy you a pint. Now, don't forget, I've said if United win, then I buy you a pint. United did win. I didn't buy you a pint. True, false. Okay. Well, then I've told you a lie, so that's false. Okay. Uh, let's see the next easy one, false, false, okay? So, United didn't win, I didn't buy a pint, okay? So, I said if United win, then I buy a pint. So, United didn't win, I didn't buy a pint, and you know in the real world that there's no expectation on me now, you're not going to come come to me after, we, after I say to you, if United wins, then I buy a pint. If United didn't win, and I didn't buy a pint, okay? You're not going to come to me uh, saying, you never bought me a pint. So actually, if it's not false, it must be true. So in this situation here, the false, false, okay, and these two are false, okay, I haven't told a lie, I never bought, United didn't win, I didn't buy a pint, so it must be true, okay. Now the next one is a little bit unusual here, this false true. Okay? So United didn't win, I did buy a pint, so it's false true. Hmm, is that true or false? Now I have it down here to be true. But let's rationale be let's 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 try to rationalize what's going on. We're in the pub, I said to you, if United win, then I'll buy you a pint. So United didn't win. Okay. Now I know there's no expectation on me to buy you a pint, because I said if United wins, then I'll buy you a pint, yeah. Okay. But it doesn't preclude me from buying you a pint at some other stage, yeah. Okay. And that's what's going on here. Okay. So false true, okay, United didn't win. It just happened I bought you a pint, okay? Well, I still haven't told any liars, yeah? So I haven't told any liars, so it must be true. Now, I do accept that the implication is a little bit tricky to try to get your head around, okay? But the way I like to understand these is like this, yeah? Okay? I think the, the invert or, or the negation, they're not straightforward enough. You just flip the state of the current, the current state of the proposition. If it's false, it goes to true. If it's true, it goes to false. We're in an or. An or is only ever false when both of the inputs are simultaneously false. Okay. 
An AND is another easy one to understand. An AND is only ever true when both the inputs are simultaneously true. And an implication, an implication is only ever false when the premise is true and the conclusion is false. Okay. Now, guys, I can't stress how important it is, yeah, to become familiar with how these particular operators work, okay? Especially these four operators, albeit we can construct your, or some of these operators from other operators, okay? At this stage of our introduction to propositional logic, okay, well, I can't stress how important it is to become familiar with how these operators work, okay? And more importantly, to become familiar with our actual truth tables, because this will help us later on when it comes to evaluating propositional statements, uh, showing the equivalence of propositional statements, building truth tables for more complex propositional statements, and so on and so forth. Okay. So guys, this introduction to propositional logic, and more importantly to the four connectives, the four important connectives associated with propositional logic, okay, uh, and also our definition of what, what a proposi propositional statement is, it's a statement that's either true or false, and also the values true and false are also defined to be propositions, okay, so propositions are the values true and false, and also statements in our language that can either be true or false and can't take on any other value. Okay, so I hope this video, okay, dealing with an introduction to prop proposition logic, I hope this uh, video uh, was some way helpful. So once again, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Okay, so uh, thank you, guys.